In this video, we're going to talk about two jQuery methods, the add class method and the remove class method. Now, the first one we're going to talk about is the add class method. And this does exactly what you think it does. It simply adds a class to your element that you want to add a class to. And in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to select the last paragraph on our web page. And of course, the last paragraph is right here in our last section. This area will contain the right content area right here. So that's what we're going to add a class to. So it would be no different than typing the class right in here. And the class that we're going to call it is para right here. So that's what you put in the double quotes, whatever class you want to call it. Now I want you to notice you do not have to put the dot here. And remember in CSS, you always have to put the dot to specify the class. You do not have to do that in jQuery though. You just simply supply the name. So again, we're calling it para. Now, it's useful to have the CSS code in your style sheet already created. So that's what I did right here. I created the class over here, para. And you can see if it works, we'll add a background color of yellow and we'll change the text color to blue. And I've also created another CSS class, para2, which we'll deal with in a few moments. We'll actually use the remove class to remove this class. So if you haven't downloaded the style sheet in a few videos, you might want to go ahead and do that. Remember those links again are in the description of this video. Okay, so let's go ahead and run this. And if we hit the button, and there you can see the para class was added to this paragraph. And then, of course, the CSS is triggered, and we get our yellow background and our blue text. Now what we want to do is remove the class from this first paragraph. So we can just switch our selector. Remember these selectors? We can do first and last. Let's just switch this to first, and once again, it'll select the first paragraph. Actually, you know what, though? Let's actually save this as an example so you have it. I forgot. Sorry about that. I usually do that. So let's uh, just switch this back to last right here so you have this as an example. Now what we'll do is we'll just put in the keyword remove. And there it is, remove class. Again, if we go up here, in this case, we already had the class here, para2, and this will simply remove it, and it will remove all the formatting that we associated in CSS with this class. So let's go ahead and save this. We'll refresh our page. And if we hit the button, it didn't work because guess what? This class was para2. The code will always get you. Okay, so let's go ahead and correct that. We'll refresh our page. And if we hit the button, there. It worked this time because we had the correct class specified. And all of the formatting is gone. Now you might ask, how do I use both of these together? And jQuery provides another method to do that. And we will talk about that in the next video. See you guys then.